I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Tyrese has a few choice words for Joe Budden after he criticized his Breakfast Club interview. I ain't never been compromised mentally, sorry, compromised or spiritually. I ain't never, ever done nothing to skip in line. Why are you losing so much sleep over me, Adam Gleck? I don't f-ing get it. You won't even let my mother f-ing ex go. Or... Or have you ran up an invoice so goddamn high at your law firm determined to milk the shit out of a celebrity, black, powerful, successful black man who has earned his own motherfucking life? You didn't give me this life. Samantha didn't give me this life. And nobody gave me this life. Motherfucker, I earned this life. Why are you losing so much sleep over me, Mr. Gleckman? Why are you so determined to get something out of me to fund your motherfucking law firm why do you keep continuing to represent this woman with these beautiful baby hairs who uploads these tiktok videos and she sounds so smart and so eloquent she left me (laughs) she left me and everything that she was supposed to get after she left me was established in the pre-nuptial you do know what that means mr gleckman right okay cool I'm going to say this, y'all. Joe, Be Papa sure Joe, to like, share, and subscribe. Don't buy no more Cuban links. Busta Rhyme has already won. He's everybody in the Cuban link game. We're done with that. Joe, I need you to get into your Jay-Z bag. I need you to get into your Rev Run bag. I need you to understand that true wealth is marriage. Go ahead and pop down on that old-ass knee. Go ahead and take it to that other level. Don't buy no more chains. We're not impressed with 50 year old wearing chains no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you ain't, if, if you, let me, let, me, let me say this. Rap niggas that are 50 years old, of course you can wear your chains. That's a life you've earned. But 50 and you ain't married? I don't know. You, you're making the wrong investment, my brother. You all up in here. You out here trying to compete with these 16 year old niggas, little, little, little Tay Tay, little Ray. Let that shit go, man. And you over there calling me bitter, and, and I couldn't help but notice your motherfucking ankles out. Like, nigga, your, your ankles, like, you might you might have some of the like most moistened ankles of any nigga I've ever known in hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got on some motherfucking Crocs? wearing Crocs can't tell me nothing. Do you know what it is to be married and divorce? You know what it's like to, to, to have a whole situation and then wake up one day and it just goes up and smoke? Joe Buttons, I think you I think you need to sit this one out, bro. I think you need to go on and just leave that shit alone. Like, bro, listen, you got a pod. You got to do what you got to do. You got to go ahead and keep them views. You got to keep that, you know what I mean, that deli on. Whatever you got going on, getting that money, you got to keep that moving. But, yo, Joe, I think you need to leave this one alone, bro. You don't know nothing about none of this shit, bro. None of it. You hear me? Do what you do, bro. Keep that energy over there. Drop on that old ass knee. Stop covering up Papa Joe. Okay? Your girl is beautiful, man. She deserves that other level. Don't buy her no more shoes with the matching handbags, Joe. We got that. She's fly. You know, you, you, got, you got some beautiful, beautiful energy happening in your relationship. I'm in a situation right now. I'd probably be on another level already if, if, if my f-ing divorce was finalized. But I'm, it's been over four years and this just won't let me go. I don't know what the f*** is going on. There's a, there has to be a... There are somebody out there in Atlanta that can put the oo-wop <laughs> on this motherfucker so that she could just leave me the fuck alone. I mean, just move on. You and your lawyer, Adam Gleckman, move on. And Joe, Joe, it's time to pop the question, bro. 
time to put on that grown man. It's time to get some of that Fat Joe energy. It's time to get some of that. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Joe, Joe know the formula. Fat Joe. Uh, your man drink champs. He know the formula. Everybody going home. If your wife ever left you, them fucking words about bitter never come out your mouth, bro. You 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 in the wrong mother league right now, Mr. Joe Buttons. Stick to talking about all the things you talk about. This is this is uh this is out your league, sir. You want to look up something? You want to look up something, Joe? Since 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 everybody say yo yo leave Reese alone, man. Leave him out of that, man. Now, let's not not bring him in that. Tip. No, man. I read I met Tyrese a couple times, bro. He good people, man. Like I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be trying to make a mockery of him crying on the breakfast club while saying black cry. First of all, your whole thing is crazy. Why are you watching the breakfast club? Don't you got other episodes coming up? Don't you don't you got other guests you should be prepping for? You see that rope, Joe? You see that rope over there? How how did you watch the full breakfast club interview? Why why are you studying You see that rope? See what I'm saying? Joe, leave that alone, bro. To all of the married men who have been through a divorce, to all of the married men who have just been through a, a, a random, nasty, unexpected breakup, to all of the women who have been through a divorce, a whole family that you've seen yourself doing something for the rest of your life, and then boom, it just went up in smoke. I, I'm talking to them. I can't talk to... 50 year old singers I, I can't do it um, that ain't never ain't never went on Google and looked up those words in the Bible that says for better for worse for sickness and health till death do its part Joe you ever said those words said I like you you said I love you you said I'm in love with you you said will you marry me but you ain't never went to that other level Joe so I was I, I really really I really want you to understand that there's just certain topics that you should just leave alone but I'm not bitter I'm just trying to I'm trying to create a safe place for us to do what all of us are uncomfortable with doing. Because you know what we specialize in trying to convince the world of? Man, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck that bitch. Now I don't give a fuck. I turn up. Like, everything about what we do as men is to go above and beyond to stop us from thinking that we care, we feel, we have anything that's keeping us up at night that we're struggling with. That's what we specialize in doing. We don't want our kids to notice. We don't want our women to notice. We don't want our wives to notice. And when they keep asking us questions, what's wrong? What's going on? Why won't you talk to me? And they're ready. They're, well, they're like, man, women are so incredible because women, they got a different type of cell phone tower into the heavens, especially when you married. You wouldn't know nothing about that, Joe. But hear me when I say, I'm trying to explain some shit that you don't know about. So hear me, man. When you marry a good thing in favor from the Lord, that is not the opinion of a podcaster. That is not the opinion of Jesus. To he, no, she who finds a husband finds a good thing in favor from the Lord. Joe, do you see the rope? Joe. Joe Button. You know what I expected? I'm not even going to say I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm literally responding to you. I mean, these are weak ass jabs. Just, you know, <laughs> I'm just responding to you because I'm disappointed. But being is that 
I got so much real shit that I'm actually mentally, emotionally, and psychologically trying to navigate through, bro. I'm already down, Joe. I expected you to upload a pod as being like up trying to create. Everybody's out here with the hashtag mental health. That that's cool. I like it. I'm I'm so grateful. Let's not talk about mental health awareness and continue to create spaces that ain't safe for men to talk. And let's not be another alpha male. That's attacking an alpha male who is pushing through all of my traumas and my pains and my stuff. You see me down, you see me fucked up, you see me going through it. And you use your voice, your alpha, your stage, and your platform to not only call me bitter, but invite us to Google it while sitting on your pod. Now, what did you get out of that? I don't know. This ain't this ain't how you want to go viral. You look. You see that rope? You see that rope, Joe? All right. All right. So, going back to my ex, uh, we really did it, didn't we? (laughs) Really got married, really started a family, really said, we really about to do this. You were shocked that we got married, I was shocked that we got married. Really did it, Then 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 we got pregnant. And now fast forward, a whole beautiful pain album includes thoughts, feelings, vulnerabilities, and sensibilities, and sensitivities. Joe Buttons call it bitter, but I call it getting this shit off of me so that I'm not carrying it no more. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.